Hey everyone. I just wanted to jump on here really fast and show you a quick, um, a few tools that I'm going to use tonight um, doing some dinner. So we're just having BLT, something really easy, and I just thought I'd make some veggies to go with it. So I have um, a tomato here that I'm just going to core out center. We said it's a really great tool for this tomato core, um, but it was discontinued a long time ago. Now, the important thing to know about tomatoes and doing this is that if you have squishy tomatoes, they're not going to work. Um, you have to have some pretty firm tomatoes. This tool is the quick slice and it just slices your tomatoes up really fast that way. So now we're going to do some um, bell pepper and I've already um, sliced off the top and I like to slice up so that I leave a little center and also it's really easy to get the green part out. And then I'm going to use this. This is called our loop scoop, scoop loop, something like that. And it just goes in and it takes out the center of the bell pepper. And then you can just, and I just realized it might have been off camera. So you couldn't have seen how great that was. Okay. So we're just going to get the rest of the seeds out of that. But it's really great to get everything um, out of the center. So let me try one more time. And I'm going to just get everything out of my pepper. So just perfect, just like that, okay? Then um, I'm going to take my pepper, cut it in half, and I'm going to place it cut side down on here. Now this has a little V-shaped one, so I don't know how close you can get to that and see. It has kind of a V-shaped to it, and um, it has serrated blades. And so if you go through the, the upside piece, they pop out and it's just really great. You have slices. So I like to just do a bunch of these and just snack on them in the afternoon and use those. So that is the ultimate, the quick slice. <laughs> okay, and so it's really great to do with cucumbers. You can do it with avocados, um, kiwis. It is not a French fry cutter, okay? So just so you know that. And the great thing too is if I were going to do um, like diced bell peppers, I could put them on here the other direction and voila, you have little diced peppers. So it's really fast and easy to do that with also. This is another tool that you can use with vegetables. This is our veggie wedger and this is really great when you need pieces cut into little wedges. Okay, um, We like to slice up oranges with these and serve them, just put them in wedges. They're a little easy. Kids like to put them because they like to put them in their mouth and you know, give themselves an orange mouth. But let me show you how that looks, what it does with just a pepper too. Okay, so then you have these kind of wedges um, with them. So really great to do with potatoes. Um, I've done, like I said, oranges. You can also do bell peppers, um, all kinds of tools. All right, two more things I wanted to show you because we don't talk about them on the show. And these are the boil over no mores, okay? And this is a smaller size. It will go on your smaller pans. The actual outline of this white section here, the pan has to be a little bit bigger than that to be able to use this on a pan. And of course we have our ultimate grandy size here that goes on like your 12 inch pan, it's really big. So how this works is, it's kind of a concave kind of a situation. And as the water boils, it starts to flip these up like this and it pops all the bubbles so that it doesn't foam over. And if there gets to be too much of it, well then it just kind of sits right in here in that concave. Since I've gotten one of these, I have not boiled over anything. It's wonderful. So I really love these. So this is the small one, and this is the large one. So if you're looking for those. So thanks for joining me. I'll pop in again another time and show you some other tools. Thanks.